The following is brought to you by House Call Pro. Check out the link in the summary after the video for your free trial. Okay, when I originally got to this unit, this breaker here was tripped. I reset it, it stayed reset, but now what happens is the fan tries to start and it stops right away. And then about a minute later, it does it again. This breaker is not tripping, but there's something fishy going on with this unit. So we need to find out what's in this circuit, what this breaker is protecting, and follow it. See, you heard that fan tried to restart there. We gotta follow this and find out where the issue may lie. So if we go ahead and look at the wiring diagram, it's our low voltage circuit here, there's that breaker. We have to find out what this breaker is protecting. So if we follow it, we come into the main control board, okay? This SD is the smoke detector circuit, so it comes through here, through this, um, goes out to the smoke detectors, and then it comes back to R. When the smoke detectors are closed, our board gets power. Okay, so that is one load that that circuit breaker here is protecting. The other one, if we follow, again, through this circuit here with the normally open G contact goes over and powers up the economizer board and anything that the economizer board takes power from. Okay, because we have a motor in there, um, actuator, okay. So we also are powering up that actuator. So those are the, the three main loads on this that we're gonna have to look into to find out why this tripped and why we have this weird cycling of the fan. Okay, so what I did here is I isolated this board and I also isolated this board and then this plug here is going out to the actuator that receives power, okay? Um, I hooked everything back up to this board now and it seems to be working fine, but what I did before that with everything isolated, turned the power back on, no trip, nothing odd happening, so I hooked this back up, reapplied power, no trip, the fan's running, everything seems to be fine. So what we're gonna focus on is this board, okay, and potentially the actuator. So we're gonna hook these plugs up one by one and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so we got three plugs in, and we have power on our board and the fan is running, everything seems to be working fine. This is the last plug. I'm gonna show you what happens when I try to plug this in. You heard the contactor stopped and the fan stopped. When I pull this out, we're gonna wait about 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and the fan starts back up. So the problem lies in this circuit. And guys, I haven't used the meter yet, by the way, okay? I've just isolated, okay? And through process of elimination, we found the area we need to focus on. So we might have a short in one of these wires or the actual, or the fan just started back up. We might have a short in one of these wires or the actual actuator might be defective. Okay, guys, so here is the actuator. There's the 24 volt power supply. Now I pulled the two wires off. Okay, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug the plug back in at the, uh, the controller, okay? And once we do that, we're gonna power it back on and see what happens. Okay, so I plugged this back in. Same issue, fan starts and stops every few seconds or every 30 seconds or so. That's what the motor Unplugged. So that tells me the motor's not causing this issue. That tells me something in the wiring is causing this issue. Okay, so taking this a step further, I've removed the 24 volt wire coming from the board. It's going to the motor. The fan is running, the board's powered up. Everything seems to be working okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook the motor back up, leave this disconnected, and see what happens. 
Okay, the motor's hooked back up, put the wires back on it, and we still have this disconnected and everything is still good. So my thinking is that we have a short somewhere between here and the actuator on this wire. Okay, let me show you guys something here. This wire here was run from this panel to the panel where the actuator is, okay? Um, now when the wires were run, the extra wires, instead of cutting them off, were coiled up. Okay, so basically I took this tan wire, I got rid of the black wire, which is here. Okay, I took this tan wire that's going out to the same compartment. I tied it into where the black wire was. Okay, now if we walk around, this isn't professionally done yet, this is just me testing my troubleshooting. I've hooked that wire on the, the power terminal, okay, the tan wire. So basically we got rid of this black wire that was causing the short, okay, and we've hooked this tan wire up. So now I just got to go get the proper connector, hook that up and get this all back, neat, nicely wire tied up, and, and we're all good, guys. But what we did there, is we did all of that troubleshooting. From this board, to that board, to all the plugs, to the wire going out, and then the new wire coming in. That was all done without a meter, guys. That was all done through isolation and process of elimination, guys.